Okay, so welcome to today's webinar. I want to talk to you today about one of the few diseases that's affecting and has almost no kind of treatment in in modern medicine. And it's a very, very difficult disease to talk about. It's a case of amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. It's a very rare disease. It's a neurological disease, especially happens either in middle-aged or old age men mainly and women also and especially the nerves and the neurons they get paralyzed especially the voluntary muscles like chewing walking breathing talking all these muscles here on the jaw flexors the respiratory muscles they go into paralysis and this is very progressive so it's it's it can really affect a lot it it basically is a deterioration and death of motor neurons now this is a very difficult disease to cure and we never use the word cure in this kind of disease but with proper homeopathic remedy we can slow down the progress of the disease and we can help naturally heal this innermost disease and homeopathy has this solution for this where we can slow down the progress of the disease and i have a few cases which have responded fairly well although i want to tell you it is a difficult disorder so i want to put across some remedies which i have been using in this uh, diseases but if any of your relative has this you need to find a good homeopath and give a proper history a detailed history to this homeopath what i'm putting across are some medicines which we normally don't think of which i want to share with you and in fact in many many uh, neurological cases you can think of remedies like this so let's start with the first remedy we start with carbonium sulf Carbonium sulf is a remedy for motor neuron paralysis but the main symptom is there is a lot of numbness and formication there has to be a history of a lot of alcohol and smoking abuse interestingly it has a dullness dependency like carbon and ego like sulfur this is the carbonium sulf typically it's also i've used this remedy for multiple sclerosis interestingly it's also top remedy for peripheral neuritis with a lot of lightning like flying like pain so this is one remedy you i want you to think about but i've used it so much in ophthalmic disorders we come to the next remedy plumbum and this is a sheet anchor this remedy but i also use a lot of plumbum iod this is a very important remedy for spastic paralysis plumbum sulf plumbum muriaticum also especially it could be quite sensitive to touch the paralyzed part and there is a sudden wrist drop and foot drop but one of the things i have seen with plumbum is a lot of strong responsibility that they have taken early part in their life next remedy argentum nitricum i have have amazing results with this remedy in amyotrophic lateral sclerosis the main symptom i have seen is a lot of panic a lot of anxiety about how they will do the work and typical argentum nitricum symptoms with desire for sweet hot patient scared of narrow places so nitrogen will be like very suffocative state conium we all know the story of socrates but conium i've used a lot whenever i see a lot of vertigo symptoms especially old people with a lot of wax with this kind of uh, sclerosis i think about conium one of the symptoms i often seen in conium is perspiration of hands and putting the feet on the chair relieves it interestingly it's also umbelliferi family which is has the sudden unexpected shock another remedy lathyrus sativus a remedy we don't use so often the main symptom vithul khas has written about it is a lot of suppressed grief and painless paralysis and especially the anterior horns of the spinal cord are affected so there's a lot of increased reflexes next remedy curare arrow poison it's from loganisi family like ignatia so lot of history of emotional shock and a feeling of anesthesia where they feel left out think about this remedy crotalus horridus reptile snake remedy along with naja this is a top remedy for our amyotrophic lateral sclerosis we come to the next remedy plumbago littoralis smaller remedy but interesting remedy for this disease but the remedy i want to talk to you about and i've used it very nicely is lysinum 
one of the top symptoms is salivation with thirstlessness in lot of history of violence and rage so there's a lot of anger within them so remedy are you so often so these are some thoughts i wanted to put across because this is a disease where i believe homeopathy has a role we can't cure it but we can slow down the pace of disease so there are just some thoughts i want to share with you